Hello, welcome to ETB Studios, my name is Ewan and today we're going to be comparing the SM57 and the Shaw Unidyne 3. So for those of you that don't know, this is the Shaw SM57 and this is a vintage Shaw Unidyne 3 from the 70s. Both very similar microphones in appearance and sound, but we're going to put them to the test and see what the real differences are. We're going to be running both microphones through my Golden Age Project 573 preamp, which is basically a clone of a Neve 1073. I'll be using the same amount of gain, the same XLR cable, and the same distance from each sound source using the two finger method which is about an inch. So first we're going to start off with a snare drum, analyse the differences, and then later we'll move on to a guitar cab. So this is the frequency analyzer I'm using called SPAN and it's on the average setting so we get an average of all the frequencies that are being captured by the microphone. So this is the SM57. As you can see the low end completely cuts off at about 90Hz with a big presence peak of 42dB just under 200Hz. We have a lot of overtones from the snare drum being captured up until about 900Hz where it starts to get a little more smooth. We do have a little notch cut out between 2 and 3kHz and then it starts to rise up again towards 6k. Then we have quite a steep slope down towards where the high end's being captured and that cuts off at about 15 kilohertz. Now if we look over to the right you'll see a decibel meter and as you can see the peak is cutting off at about 10 decibels. So now let's look at the unidyne frequencies and compare them. So you can see that the low end is cutting off here just over 100 hertz which is a bit higher than the SM57 as that was cutting off at about 90 hertz. The presence peak is still at about 200 hertz but not as high in decibels. Overall the frequency spectrum is still quite similar to the SM57 we do have that slope down towards 2k and we still have that little rise up to about 6k. At about 8k we do have a notch cut out there and that's something that the SM57 didn't have as much. You'll see here that there is a little presence peak up to about 60 decibels at 10k. It slopes down towards 16-17k where the high end cuts off completely. So overall for the snare drum at the moment we have very similar frequency spectrums other than the Unidyne doesn't have as much low end and it has a little more presence up in the high range. Now if we look over to the decibel meter again, you'll see that the peak is about minus 14 dB and that's about 9 decibels less than the SM57. So overall so far, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two microphones. So next we're going to try it on guitar. I have my Squire Mustang running into the Fender Champion 100 on the clean setting. I place the microphones in the same position again by marking it out with tape and using the two finger method. Once again using the same XLR cable and using the same input settings on the preamp. So one more time, let's have a look what's going on. So this is the frequency spectrum for the SM57. As you can see here, the low end cuts off at 80Hz, then we have a peak at about 110, a little notch down at 150, and then another peak at about 160. We have quite a severe slope down towards about 400Hz, and quite a healthy curve of mid-range here. Cuts down again at about 1.7kHz, and then a steep rise up to about 2.5kHz. Then we have another slope down towards 4K, and then a peak coming up at the end at about 5.5k, which is where the high end actually cuts off. 
So if you look over to the decibel meter again, you'll see that we are peaking at about minus 25 decibels. So now let's look at the Unidyne and compare them. So here you'll see again we have the low end cut off at about 80 hertz. We have three little peaks here in the low end, rather than two that we had with the SM57. We have one at about 110, one at about 150 or 60, and then one close to 200 hertz. Then once again we have a slope down to about 350 this time round. Then that nice curve in the middle again, going down to about 1.7k. Then once again we have that rise up to about 2.5k, with a slight higher presence peak at this point, and then a similar slope down to about 4.5k. We definitely have more high end going on here compared to the SM57. We have a nice little peak about 5.4k, but that drops off quite quickly. But as you can see, the high end doesn't actually cut off until about 7k, which is 2k more than the SM57. So if we look over to the decibel meter again, you'll see that our decibel outputs are quite similar at about minus 25 dB. So overall, sound-wise, the SM57 and the Shure Unidyne are pretty similar, other than some slight high-end and low-end differences. The mid-range seems to be pretty similar between both of them, and these similarities are mostly down to the fact that they both use the same capsule, the way that they are manufactured, and they are both cardioid polar patterns. Let me know in the comments section what you think about both of these microphones, and thank you for watching.